Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you about the Drake Equation. The Drake Equation was created by Frank Drake in 1961. And it is a way to show, or to know, well not exactly know, but to predict, the number of intelligent civilizations that, that are in our galaxy that we could communicate using, with using radio signals, like using radio telescopes out in, say, New Mexico, or in the mountains of West Virginia. And so Frank's equation is, it's the number of civilizations, so n, this might take up a couple lines, equals n sub star times f sub p, times n sub e times f sub lowercase l times f sub i oops, times I'm going to go down another row f sub C times S sub uppercase L. Okay, so here we go. We have a bunch of letters, no numbers at all. This is just like the uh, Kepler equation. Right, Kepler? Yeah. The equation A cubed equals P squared M. Okay, now I'm fumbling on that. Okay, so this is just a bunch of letters nothing else but letters. And you can't do anything with this equation unless you know what the letters stand for. So as I said earlier, n is the number of civilizations. I'm going to put the rest down here. n sub star is the number of stars in the galaxy. F sub P equals the <clears throat> fraction of stars that have planets. So I'm going to put that percentage for now. Percent stars with planets. N sub E is the fraction those that can support life, so they're in the habitable zone. That can have life. F sub L, little l, is the percentage of those planets that do have life. F sub i is the fraction of those that have uh, intelligent life. F sub c is the uh, percentage or the chance that those will have radio, they'll be able to communicate with us. So, so I'm just going to put percent communication or communicate, and we're going to put F sub big L up here because we have no more room. F sub big L is the chance that they um they are in that planet long enough to broadcast to us. So how, what percentage or what ratio? of the planet's life they occupy. So planet A, planet's life. So that's a lot of information to take in right there. All of this is, is taken into this equation. And 
if you're confused about this, I will go over this in, in my next video. And let's put an annotation on my little N right here. There's my annotation right here. Click on that, and it will take you to my video about that will practice how to find N. And there are two answers I'll give you. Because you can, there are a lot of answers to this because the number of stars in the, our galaxy is easy. The number of stars with planets is sort of hard. The number of planets that have life, that can have life, mm, you know, it's pretty hard. But these guys right here, from uh, F sub L, those with life, those that, and well, this, this is, you can calculate, but down to about here, that is incredibly hard to calculate because it's, we have no evidence of life besides our own. So how are we supposed to know? Now it could be 100% of all planets have life. Or it could be only one in a billion. So it takes a lot of estimation to do this equation. But in order to find out what my answers are, click here. I'll see you there.